My name is Ron Downey. If you haven't figured it out, I'm the executive pastor here. And if you're new or visiting from time to time, we do what we call a family update and uh, just give the church family some information, news, uh, just to keep you in sync with what's going on. Um, today, we're just going to cover a couple financial update because it's the end of the year and then budget review because it's the beginning of the year and then an update from the uh, pastor search team. Every month, if you look at the bottom of the bulletin, you'll see that page that is our financial update. So just for the sake of transparency and giving information, we'll give you kind of a running thing, how things are going um, each month. So because this is the end of December, it reflects kind of a summary of all of what December was. You see we started with a uh, budget goal last year, this time of $1.536 million. And then uh, in a transition year, we adjusted that in July, adjusted our expenses down, and adjusted our overall budget expectations to $1.3 million. We came in, as you see, 1.256, so it didn't quite meet our goal, but uh, actually we're very encouraged because transition years in churches between lead pastors can be very difficult, very hard, and this is a, a good number. So thank you so much for your faithful giving. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of a church family that is just here at home at church, and so thank you for that. Uh, encourages us a whole lot. Um, below that number, you see the prevailing hope total for last year, $183,000. A lot of us do a lot of things, pay towards the debt, uh, Pastor Mike mentioned earlier the cafe. If you haven't seen it and you just tend to go out that door, uh, go around and walk through. You'll see that all been, it's all been paid for. It's all been done. It looks great. It's a great cafe. The students there are working and uh, just a great place to come hang out. So if you don't go out there, usually come and do it. Sign up for a class, but at least walk through and take a look at things. In addition to these numbers, which is not on uh, there, we uh, refinanced our uh, facility loan, $2.4 million loan um, last year in February. We refinanced it down to a 2.5 a percent interest rate, which is extremely good for a, a business corporate rate. Um, but then since that time to now, we paid $245,000 on that loan additionally. So thank you so much for your giving to that, giving to the loan, giving to Prevailing Hope allows us to really take a big chunk out of that because we care about finances. We're very careful and conservative. So that's our summary for the year. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask me. Um, looking forward to the next year, transitioning to the next one. Today is uh, officially presenting the ballot to you for approval. I mean, the... Uh, budget for approval. If you'd like to see more details about the budget, I'm the numbers guy. I love spreadsheets and numbers and the 23-page version of all the details. Uh, but if you just want to see a summary of it, be glad to talk to you after the service um, out there. But uh, we did make the budget lower from last year. It's now 1.308 is our number uh, for this year. We think we can hit that. It's a conservative number. We built in levels of progression so that if we uh, move ahead later in the year, we can do that. So uh, again, a, a conservative number for the budget. And again, if you have questions about that or if you'd like to see monthly uh, reports and uh, balance sheets and things, we're we'll glad to share those things. We're pretty open about how things are going, and we appreciate your giving, your faithfulness, your praying. You're making an impact uh, in our community, and it does uh, take dollars to do that. So thanks for that, uh, your involvement and your prayer for that as well. We pass it off to Pastor Search Team for their update. Good afternoon. The Pastor Search Team want to know, we really appreciate you joining us praying for God to prepare our family and the person he's already chosen to be our leader in the future. This is actually our church profile. It's been finalized. It finds who we are and who we feel like God is going to be our next lead pastor. It has been sent out to several networks and that will help us create a pool of applicants. Before uh, we finalized the profile, we did get three applicants, and the profile has been sent to those three applicants, and we're communicating with them. I want to encourage you and invite you to join us in the journey to discover our next lead pastor. And the most important way you can do that is through prayer, and we're going to provide a tangible way for you to do that next month. The second way is for you to take this church profile we're going to provide it to you, our church family, via the website. If you can't find it or if you don't have access to Internet, you can request a copy. But we want you to read it. We want you to pray. And if God lays a viable candidate on your heart, please share it and invite them to apply. We don't know how and who God's going to send our next lead pastor through. So you are important. It's vital that you are a part of praying so if you haven't been praying, I'm going to invite you to jump into that prayer pool and pray and ask God to show you if there's someone that you should uh, encourage to apply. So I want to thank you in advance for your prayers. I'll turn it over to John Renault, our elder. 
you guys will stand with me. I'll close this in prayer. And you know what? Just grab the hand of a person or persons next to you and I'll pray. Father, thank you for this time, Father. And as we leave, uh, help us to understand we are ambassadors for Christ, Lord. And teach us to jump in and to swim deeply towards you. Father, as a, as a family, we lift up Alton Carter and his family. Alton, a man who walked with you for many years, lost his wife of 70 years just a few days ago. Father, make yourself real to them. Put your arms around them. Let us love on him as he's uh, going through this time. Father, we lift up the other churches in Wichita Falls. We pray that the word is spoken there and people will leave changed because of that. Thanks for this time. And uh, bless these people as they leave. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Guys.